so Lucy is here. We're excited to be cooking with Greer's <laughs> and it's breakfast time. We're making a breakfast dish. Yes, um, happy Father's Day Thank you. early. So I was thinking since Father's Day is this weekend, um, Spiro's absolute, fa he loves breakfast food, but his favorite um, breakfast is a dish that his Aunt Carly makes. She's an amazing cook and it's Eggs Blackstone, which is just a take on Eggs Benedict. Um, so I was going to just show everybody that today. I've never heard of Eggs Blackstone before. It is is, and really it's better for me because I'm not a huge Canadian bacon lover. Okay. And so we're going to use regular bacon on this and then as y'all can see we're going to do some sauteed spinach and tomatoes and then we're going to do a shortcut um, for hollandaise sauce. So uh, have a skillet here and um, people like to cook bacon a few different ways. I really do prefer to cook it in the oven just because it's easier. So um, I have 16 ounces of bacon and I just lined a sheet pan with some aluminum foil. Yep, it's in the Is oven. Is that going on right here? It's going on right here and 375. It'll take, you know, 20, 25 minutes. And what I would typically do is then pull it out and then just um, pour some of that bacon grease into a skillet so we can saute our veggies but um, that was cooking so I just grabbed a couple pieces of bacon okay. so we have a little bit of bacon grease in here so what we're gonna do at this point is this is an 11 ounce container of baby spinach so oops I'm going to cook this down and I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper to this and then um, we're gonna pull this to the side and then cook our tomatoes just for a few minutes so we're just kind of getting our, our layers ready so I just add a little bit of salt and pepper, so that salt will help that spinach wilt down. All right, so if your plans include maybe getting up on Father's Day and making a breakfast dish for Dad, this is a great opportunity yes. for you. Or, of course, I know a lot of a lot of dads, even on their own fathers, they want to grill out yes, or something like that. Absolutely. So you can find a lot of different options for all of that stuff at Greer's. Yes, we have um, amazing Father's Day sales. Like you said, typically when you think of Father's Day, it's like uh, steaks on the grill. So, of course, all of our stores cut all of our, um, our meat and house. And so if you are going shopping um, for a special dad and you don't see anything that... Um, you know, if there's something in particular that you want that's not in the meat case, uh, all of our stores have meat cutters right there in store. So just uh, ring that bell and they'll help you out. All right, sounds good. So we're doing this. Mm -hmm. What would the next step in the process be when we come back? Okay, I'm going to pull one. This is just going to take a minute. I'm going to okay. put this in a bowl and then I'm going to toss. This is one pint of uh, grape tomatoes I just sliced. I'm going to let these get in there for just a couple minutes to soften up. We are back in the kitchen with Lucy Greer with Greer's Market. She's cooking up some eggs Blackstone, a little bit different in comparison to Eggs Benedict. Yes, this is the way that Spiro's Aunt Carly makes it. It's his favorite dish, and she always makes it when we go there to visit. She lives um, over in Mary Esther, and so I thought, oh, this is Father's Day weekend, so let me make Spiro's favorite thing. Um, so what we already did, um, and I'm about to pull out the bacon. So I have a pound of bacon. I like to cook it in the oven, so it's at three. But I told everybody before, um, at this point, like if I was at home, then I would pull the bacon out and then pour a little bit of bacon grease in our skillet and then go forward with sauteing our spinach mm -hmm. and then doing our tomatoes. But since we were here today, that's why I have two pieces of bacon here. I just went ahead and got those going. So I had a little bit of bacon grease. Um, and then earlier we put in 11 ounces of fresh spinach, um, did a little bit of salt and pepper, pulled that out to this plate, and then I put in and a pint of cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes that I just sliced, did a little bit of salt and pepper, and so those things are reserved. Mm -hmm. So then I took the same skillet and I have about three or four inches of water in there, so that's where we're going to poach our eggs in a little bit. Um, so we'll talk about poaching in different ways um, and tips next. Yes. So right now we are going to um, make our quick sauce. So I have a cup of milk in here. And then I just buy one of these little hollandaise sauce packets and um, we're gonna whisk that together. You could of course make it from scratch, but it is um, a bit of a process and um, has a bit of room for error. So this one um, makes it nice and easy for this you. This one makes it nice and easy. So we're gonna whisk that together. I just wanna try to get those lumps out. And now I'm going to add half a stick of butter and we're going to bring this up to a gentle boil 
and then it's going to start thickening up very quickly. And once it thickens up, and you want to keep an eye on it, so don't walk away or anything. Uh, just you can kind of just keep whisking, and then once we, I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. And once it starts to thicken, then you just turn off mm -hmm. the heat, and we're going. I'm going to add half of a lemon juiced and three quarters teaspoon of whichever. Cajun seasoning you like. I like to use Tony's. And then um, we'll shut off the sauce. And also, um, when you're making this, if you if it gets too thick, that's no problem. If it you know starts to cool off and you're not ready with all your other components, then um, that that's no big deal. You can add a little bit more milk and water and just continue to reheat it. So it's it's not a big deal. Um, so that's it. I'm gonna get these uh, English muffins toasted. Of course, you know you could use a bagel or toast mm -hmm. or whatever, but of course English muffin is kind of traditional. So I'm gonna slice those and get a couple toasted and pull out that bacon. And this is gonna thicken up and then we'll uh, have a couple eggs poached and put it all together. Very nice and easy, especially something to do heading closer towards Father's Day, yeah. you guys. It smells delicious in here with that bacon behind us. And it's definitely getting me in the mood for some <laughs> breakfast food. Yes. But we're gonna have more of this with Lucy, plus also her poaching the eggs coming up in just a little bit. Welcome back to Studio 10. We are live with Lucy on this Wednesday. Lucy, it's good seeing you. You too. Yes, I'm learning food science this morning. <laughs> um, I told Lucy I've never poached an egg, but you've got a lot of tips. I do. I do have a few tips. My mom just texted. She's like, there's a lot going on in the <laughs> studio today. Hey, mom and for your Oh, but hey, mom. So she's right. So there are a few components here, but what we're doing, we're making our eggs blackstone, which is like eggs benedict. So we've cooked our bacon. Right. We have our English muffins toasted. So I just tore um, a piece of bacon, you know, for each half. Um, we sauteed some baby spinach. We pulled that out and we sauteed uh, some cherry tomatoes um, or grape Yum. tomatoes. So at this point, we're going to, you know, just layer it up, however many you're going to make, um, like this. Uh -huh. And then we made our sauce, which was our shortcut um, hollandaise sauce packet. Yep. So we did one packet, one cup of milk. We did half a stick of butter and then uh, it thickened up. Once it thickened up, I added the juice of half of a lemon and just a little bit of Creole seasoning just to give it a little bit of something extra. Mm. So that's ready. So like you said, okay. we're on to our eggs. Um, so what, I'm not, and these are ready to pull out. So mm -hmm. a couple different things. Uh, number one, if you are going to poach traditionally like this in three or four inches of water, um, once the water gets to a gentle boil, then you can add a tablespoon of vinegar and it's supposed to help the whites kind of stay together. But as you can see, you know, there's a lot of the white that comes off. Right. So if that bothers you, there's a couple of things. At this point, as you can see, once we pull, and it takes three minutes. Mm -hmm. So these have been in for three minutes. Once you pull them out, as you can see, we need to drain them off a little bit. So at that point, you can kind of just take off any of that extra white that is like bugging you yeah. if you wanted a certain you know kind of to like clean it up a little right. bit that's an option so if we're going to do it that way you know we kind of just clean that up a little bit and you want to use a slotted spoon um, and then we'll just put this right on top nice and then top it with our sauce like that. Beautiful, Lucy. And it's going to be the perfect, three minutes is going to give you a perfect, um, you know, gooey center. The yolk's going to break mm -hmm. beautifully over that. Okay, so another step. You can, when you are going to crack your egg into a bowl, uh -huh. before you put it in here, if you um, crack it through a little baby strainer, then um, the the part of the white that's kind of getting everywhere is going to go through there and then it's just going to hold the egg, the yolk and then some of the white as well. Sure. Yeah. Um, if you want to take that extra step before you put it in here, um, that will clean up a little bit of your white. But again, you can just kind of take a little bit of this off once you get it out. All right, one other thing. Okay. The way that Aunt Carly does it, which is Spira's aunt, um, she 
after she cooks everything in the skillet, she puts just a tiny bit of water in there, um, just really a little bit to cover the bottom. She puts all the eggs in, cracks them all in, and then she covers it uh -huh. and just lets some steam like that, which is a really good option, especially if you're cooking this for a crowd. Ah. Um, so I probably should have showed that way because it's a little bit easier, um, but you can do it that way as well. Okay. And then of okay. course, if you don't like poached eggs, you could just do them over easy, um, you know, however you want to do them, do a fried egg like that and yeah. put it on there. But um, that's a couple options for you. Lucy just took us all to poached egg school. I just learned mm, so you. much from her. Yeah, it's like beautiful. That, that oh, truly that will be the perfect bite. So we will have more with Lucy next week. Um, remember, keep them in mind for Father's Day. They've got all the meats, all the good stuff you need at Greer's. Lucy, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy Father's Day, everybody.